So A-level maths is, we do have classes doing A-level maths. Again, you need what I would describe as a good six. So six is the minimum requirement at GCSE, but that really involves students not just getting the six. If, if it was me, I'd say don't do A-level maths unless you really like the algebra. If you're good at algebra, if you like solving equations, if you like simultaneous equations, quadratic equations, if you like drawing the graphs, A-level maths is a really good course for you. But if that's not something that you enjoy, or your, you know, your son or daughter enjoys, I would suggest you steer clear of A-level maths. It's definitely a course for people who are, who are bright and hard working. Um, six is the minimum requirement. It's a good course, there's lots of algebra in it. Um, and I think, if, if it was me, I'd, I'd, you know, and my, you know, my son or daughter was you know, a keen mathematician, and they wanted to get a, you know, a, a, a subject they know will stand out. Um, I'd recommend A-level maths. It's a good course. Mm -hmm. So um, I know that my child absolutely loves doing maths and they just want to do all maths really. Um, so what sort of extension is there to A-level maths? Well, there are, you're right, there is an extension. Um, we at Cowley, we offer further maths. A lot of all colleges do, the bigger colleges tend to. So A-level further maths is, you can think of it as double maths. It's a course where people will do A-level maths as well as this new course. So the new course is again, a step up again. This is, I talked about this one being algebra and algebra. This one's even more algebra. So again, lots and lots of algebraic work. Minimum grade now is seven. So you can see it is ratcheting up. And most of our students would have an eight or a nine if they were doing further maths. It's not always the case. Some of our best mathematicians haven't had um, an eight or a nine, but generally they would be a very, very strong maths candidate. Now, why would you do A level maths? And you know, as I've kind of hinted, it's because people see it on your, you know, on your CV, on your u university application, and they think, oh, this, you know, this child, you know, they, can, they know their stuff, you know, they're good math, 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 mathematicians. Further maths, you tend to do it if maybe you want to go off, obviously, to a maths degree, but it might be you're thinking about, I don't know, you want to be a physicist or you want to be an engineer. Um, it might be you just love maths and you want, you know, you hinted before, they just love their maths and they want to do as much of it as possible. But very often people at A-level, it's because they want to do a maths degree, they want to do a science degree. I mean, no, the further maths will come in useful. I mean, I taught a student a couple of years ago, went off to Durham University to economics. His further maths came in very, very useful for that as well. So if you're thinking of doing a mathematical-based degree, further maths is certainly something to consider. I should point out, at Cowley, you, most students do three A-levels. If you're going to do further maths, you'll end up doing four, 